people are condemning me um, and chastising me and outraged that I connected the death of Rusty Thomas, Operation Save America director Rusty Thomas's son, uh, Jeremiah Thomas, from cancer. Uh, with the death of Paul Hill. Now, Rusty Thomas is the director of the organization that to this day has a press release from 2003 saying Paul Hill must be executed, um, cheering the execution and calling for the execution of Paul Hill. Paul Hill was executed on September 3rd, so that's um, you know 15 years ago, just last week, September 3rd, 2003. And what I'm saying is I'm not backing away and I'm saying that uh, Jeremiah Thomas, uh, who Rusty milked his son's uh, long battle with cancer as a fundraiser and to pitch abolition, you know, his Make-A-Wish Foundation, the boy wants to end abortion. That's wonderful. That's good. That's nice. But there's a connection. When you justify the killing of the innocent, one of the few people, Paul Hill, I'm talking about Paul Jennings Hill now, Paul Jennings Hill, one of the few people courageous enough in the United States of America to actually do what Operation Rescue, of which OSA is a splinter group, said to do for years, which is treat the unborn the way you would want to be treated. If you believe the unborn are human beings, if you believe they're persons worthy of defense, act like it. And Paul Hill did. He loved them, acted like it, defended them in the way that Rusty Thomas said he wanted to defend his own children, and they condemned his innocent blood. So yes, Rusty, I'm doubling down, all of you. I'm doubling down, whether you care or not, I'm doubling down, and I'm a human being. You may think I'm irrelevant, <laughs> but uh, there are others. I'm not the only one, and God sees it. I'm doubling down, and I'm saying when you condemned the innocent blood of Paul Hill, you brought a curse on yourself and on your family and on your little boy, Jeremiah. Okay? Think about it. You made a big mistake and you need to not only, don't take down that press release, retract it and repent. Shame on you. I don't care if a hundred years goes by. If you consent today to the death of Stephen, okay, or to the beheading of Paul or to the crucifixion of Jesus Christ himself, there's a problem here. Innocent blood cries out to God. And you're the one who says that all the time. You hypocrite. Hypocrite. Repent. And your little boy, you milked his death for funds. I say you're a liar. And you're a hypocrite. And if Paul Hill deserved to die, so did Jeremiah.